Yes, I, I think it is. I uh, haven't seen it. Everton's statement. Listen to what Carvey's just, just mentioned. They were talking about £20 million. And the fact that Everton have been working with the Premier League, I think, for the last couple of years, you know, you think, you know, it is a, a small figure, really, when you think of, you know, in terms of the Premier League now and transfer fees. And we're talking about other clubs being uh, upset, maybe Everton were buying players that maybe they should not have done. But... You know, in the last sort of few transfer windows, some of the players that Everton have brought in, and if they're working with the Premier League, why? And this is the, the figure 20 million. I don't understand why Everton were just told, you know, a certain player that they brought in that they couldn't bring in. But it just feels like, for me, I think taking points off clubs uh, is, is really tough. And I think that punishment has to be a really, almost like the last resort, really. I think you can have transfer, embargo, fine, certainly for a club like Everton right now, when we're talking about £20 million going over the threshold that they should have been, I think it was 105. So it feels uh, very excessive, and I, and I do feel for Everton right now, certainly when you consider what's uh, happening with other clubs at the moment, and also the fact that there was certainly the six big clubs in the, or the, the big six, if you like, supposedly big six, uh, you know what happened with the Super League a couple of years ago as well, where they actually threatened to to leave the league, and I think there was a twenty two million pound fine, I think spread between the six clubs. So when you you actually think what happened there, can that and compare that to what Everton have been involved in, and the fact they've now got a ten point deduction and puts them almost bottom of the league, only you know off the bottom on goal difference. Yes, I think it's excessive. And, in fact, you know, Everton have said in their, in their statement in response that they are going to be monitoring closely what happens with, with other Premier League clubs and cases involving them. And it's interesting, isn't it? They would have got a nine-point deduction if they got into administration. It is ten uh, as a result of, of this breach of profit and sustainability rules. Um, the Everton fans have been through so much in recent years, Jamie. I mean, how much is this going to hurt right now? Of course, of course it'll hurt, but, like... Any football club who this could have happened to, it'll, I think it'll gal galvanise them. They'll feel the world's against them. Uh, I don't think it'll make Manchester United's job any easier when they go to Goodison Park in about 10 days. Uh, and if truth be told, if you were ever going to get a points deduction at any stage, in any, any time, probably in, in the Premier League era, this season mightn't be the worst one to actually uh, take the 10-point Deduction. I know Everton are fighting it and, and doing all as they can, but Everton will still be in the Premier League next season with this uh, points deduction. I'm pretty certain of that. Uh, you know, you're right that had, had this points deduction come in last season, it would have been perilous for Everton because they would have been relegated. They only finished two points uh, above the bottom three in the end. They would have been relegated by eight points, Jamie. Um, but instead, they're only two points from safety right now. Their goal difference is, is relatively good. I suppose there'll be some other parties, let alone Everton right now, who might feel aggrieved, n n namely the clubs that did get relegated last season and those who are around them now in that bottom three this season. So, do you feel that it's, it's fair to apply that now as opposed to maybe last season? Yeah, I, I totally get Certainly clubs that have been relegated in the last couple of years. Uh, there's no doubt, you know, people have been looking at Everton's finances, the, certainly the Premier League, and that's what I said, they've been working together for the last couple of years now, and I can understand those clubs feeling aggrieved and the fact that maybe an Everton's point deduction wasn't taken into account when, you know, the, these things were going on and they were really affected. You know, as you said, Everton would have went down last season, maybe the season before as well, and they're probably the clubs who, who've been relegated in that season will feel aggrieved. There's no doubt they'll have been putting big pressure on the, on the Premier League to sort this out. And there's no doubt, I don't think Everton are saying they haven't you know, gone across the threshold of £105 million in losses. I think they admit that. They're saying it's £9 million. I think the, the Premier League or the Commission are saying it's, it, it's 20 But there's no doubt they've broken the rules. And when you break the rules, you should be punished. It's just that for me, I just think taking 10 points off a team just feels like an, an awful lot. Something, as you said, uh, when you come to me, unprecedented. We've never seen this sort of level of sanction before. And, uh, and, and the way that I just I can't get away from it just feels excessive. And Everton will feel like they're getting punished and, you know, they're the ones maybe getting used at this moment. There's a lot of talk about an independent regulator coming into, you know, to football and English football. And uh, so I can understand that feeling at the moment. Mm. Uh, th there is... Some precedence when you look at what's happened in the EFL. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday were given a 12-point deduction and that was reduced on appeal 
to six. Um, you, you mentioned it before, Jamie, alluding to a few reasons why Everton perhaps will feel hard done by right now. And uh, I suppose the reasons around which they will mount their defence. Do you feel that they've got a good case to get the, the, the points deduction reduced? I think they have, uh, you know, they will appeal that. And I think certain situations with, with, with the stadium, I think there was a, a real change a couple of years ago with the, you know, when you're playing for a stadium, but the actual interest on the stadium, I mean, you know where the world is right now in terms, you know, financially and interest rates and, and then Everton are spending an awful lot of money and borrowing an awful lot of money to finish a stadium off. That will be absolutely, you know, transformational for Everton, you know, for the city, but also for the Premier League. It'll be massive for the Premier League to see Everton in that fantastic stadium. On the uh, on the River Mersey, and you know, there's been a slight rule change, I think, in the last year or so that's really affected Everton because obviously we all know borrowing costs now have gone uh, gone through the roof. Certainly, the interest charges as well, and that's that's had an impact on this uh, on this figure as well. So they do feel a little bit hard done by in certain areas, even though they're accepting that they've uh, they've gone past the uh, you know the target of 105 million losses. Uh, you, you mentioned that the, the cost of borrowing. You mentioned COVID. You mentioned. Uh, the stadium. Uh, also, transfer business plays into this, doesn't it, Jamie? And, and the report keeps mentioning player X and the loss of money on that player being £10 million. Do you feel that that should be a factor taken into consideration? I think it should be taken into consideration, but that's not just about Everton, is it? That's, that, that was about every club. Every club was affected by, by COVID and whether you could have sold a player. And, you know, you know we know the world stopped. It would have affect, affected... Uh, Transfers in and out of the club, but as I said, that's that's not just for Everton. But I'm sure you know there was an impact at the club, but there was an impact at every club. And uh, you know, at that time, that was the one thing that I did see where, where you looked at sort of Everton's losses over COVID, and theirs was a lot more than other clubs. And I'm sure that would have raised an eyebrow because it's you're not quite sure how, how can you tell what someone would have gone for, or you know, in the future, what would have happened. So it's it's a little bit of a grey area, the COVID situation, but that was a that was a period that affected everybody.